hey what's going on everyone welcome back to my channel it looks like john process is coming out with another iphone 12 report this time he is giving us the pricing on every iphone 12 model and by looking at this pricing it, it looks like we are going to be getting the most diverse and honestly the best iphone lineup ever in 2020 with so many options for so many different types of consumers in this video we are gonna cover the new iphone 12 pricing as well as entire iphone lineup going into the end of 2020 so iphone 12 is going to start at 649 dollars for 5.4 inch model he is also saying that 6.1 inch model of the iphone 12 will start 749 dollars and the 6.1 inches version of the iPhone 12 Pro will start $999 and the 6.7 inch version of the iPhone 12 Pro Max will start $1,099. As you can see from his tweet, all of the models are going to include the 5G modems as well as OLED displays. The two normal iPhone 12 models are still just going to have two cameras and it's going to be the same wide angle and ultra wide angle setup that we see on the current iPhone 11 models. You will notice that the iPhone 12 Pro models include three cameras like iPhone 11 Pros do. So a wide angle, ultra wide angle and telephoto. But they will also be including a brand new lidar scanner the same on that we see on the current iP iPad Pros. The lidar scanner is only going to be available in the pro models only. All models will have OLED display. What differences the display will have remain to be seen yet. I think that the pro models will get higher refresh rate. So they will have the pro motion display as Apple like to call it where it refreshes at 120Hz. And then the regular iPhone 12 models will still refresh at 60 Hz. Let's get back to the pricing information for just a second and why should you believe this reporting coming out of John process you should believe believe it because according to John this is the same source who gave John the iPhone SE launch date which he reported on weeks before anyone else and John was able to give us the exact time on when the iPhone SE would launch and after that he was able to give us the exact time that Apple would issue a press release announcing the phone so the John's source is rock solid on this information I really do believe on this pricing list. We are expecting the iPhone 12 to launch sometime in fall and it might even get delayed to October and November. And with everything going on in the world, there is so many different factors that could change their pricing, so just their overall release strategy because most source and most sources and again John process who said this is that we should expect that these iPhone 12s will be delayed by a month or two. Apple still may actually hold its September event they could announce the phone in a September announcement and then also say that they won't be sale until sometime in October or November or they might just push the announcement date back to one of these months as well. It's important to note that we are expecting a redesign for the iPhone 12 but right now some of the reporting is saying that maybe the new design might be exclusive to the pro models. The two high-end devices, the Pro model will have a flat stainless steel edges instead of the current curved design. The Pro iPhone model will also have smaller notches thanks to a new design. I should note that the Face ID sensors are not shrinking but by moving the earpiece higher into the phone's top border, they can make the cut out for the notch smaller. The image again from the John process shows how iPhone 12 Pro design should look like. We also expect the iPhone 12 to have an A14 chip, 6 GB of RAM and like I said an OLED displays on all models 
also due to recent release of the ipad pros they now starting at 128 gigabytes of base storage i would also expect that to carry through to these iphone 12 models especially on the pro model so while maybe the iphone 12 the regular version still might starting at 64 gigabytes i expect the pro model to start at 128 gigabytes i am really looking forward to this iphone lineup for 2020 into 21 because especially after the recent release of the iphone se we are getting a really big and broad iphone lineup with the iphone se iphone se starting at 399 dollars and there is also rumor that the iphone se plus will launch in early 2021 and that would come in at $499 which would basically give us brand new iPhone across a giant price range. Now with rumors for this year's lineup it look like everything is about to fall into place with the best iPhone lineup in history but anyway that is what I currently think about the iPhone 12 lineup based on these rumors. I would love to hear what you have to say in comment below. Do you agree with me that this year the iPhone lineup is going to be the best it has been? Also let me know which iPhone are you looking forward to purchase this year? Are you more for the iPhone 12 Pro, the regular iPhone 12 or you going all the way down to the new iPhone SE 2020? Also, if you like this video, make sure you give me a like. If you want to see more from my channel, make sure subscribed. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care everyone.